Hi, it's Andy from Nioxys Corporation. In this class, we're going to talk about inventory varieties and options. And we can see that for our raw materials and subassemblies listing, some of the line items have this color palette icon and a number in parentheses. This color palette icon tells us that there are varieties to this particular raw material or this particular subassembly. Varieties are essentially the same item with one or two different characteristics. Let's take, for example, this men's dress shirt. The SKU is A4365. It's a men's dress shirt with a cost of $8 and a 200% markup, giving us an MSRP of $24 per unit. However, there are five varieties for this particular item. The varieties are designated by size. That's the characteristic that differentiates one item from another. Here we see the A4365 SKU with the tag LG for large, and we also have medium, small, extra large, and extra, extra large varieties. Five different varieties of the same item where the only difference is this change in the size characteristic. Now you have the option for each variety to set a unique price. In this case, we can see that the men's dress shirt generically is sold for $24 a unit. That's a 200% markup over an $8 cost. And the small, medium, and large varieties of the shirt are $24. We see, however, a $4 premium for the extra large variety and an $8 premium for the extra, extra large variety. We can make this happen by changing the standard markup. The other option would be to simply add a fixed price cost adjustment. Let's look at a very different type of raw material, and that is a four-cylinder engine. This four-cylinder engine is part of a drivetrain subassembly that goes into a passenger automobile. This particular product varies by output. Here we have product C1779, a four-cylinder engine, but it comes again in two varieties, normally aspirated and turbocharged. The number in parentheses tells me that I have four of the normally aspirated currently in stock and two of the turbocharged currently in stock. Now, if we want to add a price premium to the turbocharged, again, we can adjust the markup, or we can just say there's an additional $250 price premium. We can adjust the markup or leave it the same as the base model. So here we see that the base model and the turbocharged both have a 200% markup, but we have this $250 cost adjustment, this premium cost added to the price of the turbocharged variety. Note that each variety of each item should have its own description and its own and unique SKU. Now, by default, the variation SKU will be the same as the base product. Here, the base product of the four-cylinder engine, the SKU is C1779. So if I were to go here and click on the varieties icon and confirm to set up another variety of this engine, the SKU would be C1779. In addition to the normally aspirated and turbocharged, I may add a supercharged option. So I'll add the S, and here in the description, I'll add supercharged. I'll add a $500 cost adjustment with a 200% markup. So now we have our three different prices. We see $925 for the normally aspirated, $2,055 for the supercharged, $1,305 for the turbocharged. We see that the SKU and the item description are unique. This will be very important when we take this product or subassembly and move it into our sales product catalog. As is the case with all raw materials, subassemblies, and finished goods, we have the option to activate or deactivate the product. And for raw materials and subassemblies, 
we have the option to include it or not include it in our sales catalog. We'll talk more about the finished goods in our sales product catalog in training class 444. That's it for varieties. Just remember that the icon tells you there are varieties for a product, the number in parentheses tells you how many different varieties, and by clicking on the base item, you can see all of the different varieties. Different items may vary by size, color, design, output, or if they're personalized, you can indicate that with this tag here. Maybe you have a particular garment that has the option of having the buyer's initials put on the sleeve. This would be the option to personalize an item. Also keep in mind that some varieties vary based on characteristics added by the supplier of the item. Others may be based on modifications you make in-house. Taking that personalized example, you may purchase the shirts from a supplier and then add the initials or the monogram upon purchase by a particular customer. That would differ maybe from our engine varieties where they come from the factory already supercharged or turbocharged. The stock supplier, the OEM supplier, provides the different varieties. That's all there is for varieties. It's a simple but powerful tool that allows you to differentiate different sizes, different colors, or different options on a single inventory raw material or subassembly. In our next class, we're going to talk about serialized or serial numbers and specifically identified pieces of inventory. And then in class 444, we're going to talk about finished goods and our sales product catalog. I'll see you in those classes. Thanks for watching.